In this video I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on the drainage analysis feature in OptiSurface Designer. This feature is good for examining drainage problems within a field with the aim to reducing those uh, issues. Okay, here we have a field that's from the Midwest of the US. It is roughly 800 meters long uh, by 400 meters. The lowest points are the purple areas, the highest points are the orange areas. Those color contours are roughly one foot intervals. And you can see that um, in the 3D view, we've got some low, some hollows here, a lower point here. So those areas will hold water during a rainfall event. And the drainage analysis feature basically allows us to examine those uh, issues in more detail. Okay, so we find the drainage analysis feature under the tools menu, drainage analysis, and we get this dialog box here. Calculation grid spacing in meters, how often you want to calculate. Um, five meters is quite typical. Um, if you have furrows or beds that restrict the water flow, <coughs> then you can Turn them on. For this first example, I'm going to turn that off. So this would be like this would be farming wheat with no furrows or some or something similar. Click OK, and we're asked to purchase OptiService credits to carry out this calculation. Uh, it's one credit per hectare. There's 32 hectares there, so it, so it costs 32 credits. Uh, you can buy credits on on our website. So the software is just asking me if I want to deduct the credits from my credit balance and carry out the operation. So I click OK. And it's calculating. And after about 30 seconds, we end up with this result here, uh, which is our... We end up with a few more items in, the, in our Project Explorer here. Ponding depth for existing surface, catchment area and flow direction. So we're looking at the ponding depth map here, and we're looking at uh, ponding depth. The purple is depth above 140 millimeters, which is half a foot, and the brown areas are less than 20 millimeters of ponding, or no, virtually no ponding. We can change that scale to something different if we wish to get a better feel for the ponding so this is the deepest ponding point here over a foot and there's a few other points here so we also have our catchment area map which basically looks like the tributaries and the flow paths as water concentrates it'll flow along these paths to exit the field so it'll fill up the depressions and then flow out we also get some drainage statistics in this window down here. So the field area is 30 and a half hectares. The ponding area is 2.8 hectares. That is about 9% of the field. There's approximately 4 megalitres of water stored in those depression areas. And the maximum ponding depth is around 0.5 of a metre or, or 1.5 feet. Okay, now we're going to do some analysis with including some furrows. So we can turn on the furrows with this button here. We can define their direction. And they're going to run directly, basically north-south. And we're going to have a furrow height of, say, 0.2 of a metre. Click OK. And again, after about 30 seconds, we get our results. So you can see the ponding area has gone up significantly. A lot more ponding occurring because of the furrows are, are restricting cross flows. Now the water will overtop the, overtop the furrows and, and flow out of the field, but until it gets to the, the, the depth of the furrows, the water will, will uh, stay in the furrows. So you can see the ponded area has gone up to 
12 hectares, which is now 40% of the field. Large increase. The ponding volume has gone up to 15 megalitres, and the maximum depth has gone up slightly, just over half a metre deep. Uh, if we look at the catchment area map, it's quite different too. You can see that the furrows channel water in, in certain directions before they can uh, flow out of the field over the top of the furrows. So as you can see this tool is very useful for examining surface drainage problems. Based on the results from this tool you can start to examine the cost benefits of, of improving your surface drainage. In this example here we have over 12 hectares. That could easily result in ten to twenty thousand dollars of reduced crop production in a wet year. So the economics start to fall out uh, quite easily. Every good farm should have a plan to improve surface drainage. And this tool is the first step in examining the cost benefits of that improvement. The next step in OptiSurface Designer would be to generate some OptiSurface designs to examine the potential for landforming to improve and solve the surface drainage problems. Okay, well that's it for the drainage analysis video. Thanks for watching and please contact me if you have any questions.